name is Louie. Hello, my name is Grace and this is Dr Zoe and she is a very clever scientist. She is trying to find a treatment for cancer. <laughs> She's so clever it's hard to understand so we're going to tell you what she means. You look like regular little scientists now. <laughs> so Dr Zoe, when did you become a scientist? How old are you? Eight. I knew I wanted to be a scientist when I was about your age. So what science are you doing now? I'm testing the effectiveness of new targeted treatments for a type of cancer that affects around 70 children every year in the UK. It's called rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma. Math. Ma. <laughs> 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 I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> I can barely pronounce it. Rhabdomyosarcoma? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's trying to find a new treatment for a very rare type of cancer. The identification of targets for the treatment of cancer often comes about by looking for proteins that are higher in the cancer tissue than they are in normal healthy tissues. Sometimes new cancer treatments are discovered by looking at the differences between a cancer cell and a normal cell. Great job guys. I found a protein called Enhancer of Zest Homolog 2 that can be inhibited by recently developed drugs. Well, that's easy to understand. Oh, <laughs> I know it My work is testing the efficacy of drug agents in models of rhabdomyosarcoma with the aim to provide enough evidence to take these into the clinical setting. She's testing new drugs to see if they work well enough to see real people. Oh, so much better than me. <laughs> We're naturals. <laughs> Dr Zoe, why is this so important? The outcome for some children with rhabdomyosarcoma is extremely poor and the treatment for the last 20 years has remained largely unchanged. This type of cancer is really hard to treat. As well as being ineffective in some young patients, the current treatment strategies can cause long-term side effects that can impact upon normal development. Sometimes their medicines make children very poorly and can stop them growing. A more targeted treatment may be more effective and limit the harmful side effects seen with current treatments. The new medicine the Dr Zoe is testing only attacks cancer cells. And not the healthy ones. It could help make people better. Got that one right! Thank you Dr Zoe. Good luck with your science. Thanks very much you two. It's been great. <laughs>